All right, guys, first catfish of the trip. I don't know how much of the action you guys are gonna get to see because he's uh, it's dark out here and I'm fishing off of a cliff. Um, but nevertheless, we did get one. All right. Now, he's down this damn cliff. I'm gonna have to find a way down here. I don't wanna slip in that mud. Is he that heavy? No, he's just a little channel rat. I mean, he ain't that small for Oklahoma standards, but you guys up north. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we needed right there. All right. Now, let's see if we can get that light on there so you guys can get a look at this guy. Oh, you guys gonna get a little bit of a look at him because, uh, he got my line all wrapped around him. I got two more rods out. That came on a, uh, let me see if I can get this light to work better for you guys. I don't know if you guys can see him or not. Yeah, you guys can. I got a really big hand. I know you guys can't really tell, but whatever. Anyways. Well, that felt good. I'm going to try and stick that same bait back on the line right there. Oh yeah, he got the line all wrapped around him. Oh yeah, pretty catfish. That'll do it. Let's get him over that cliff right there. We got two more rods casted out. All right, guys. Here he is last time. There's water, you can't really see it, but he's going back. Yep, there he goes, he gone. He gone. He gone, he went right over there to them trees. I don't know if you guys can even see it or not, but he gone, he went right back to them trees. Funny thing is, that's where he had my, uh, that's where he had taken my bait to. Now we got a cold front rolling through today. We actually, we got a inch of snow coming. We got rain coming. Uh, after that rain, we've got, uh, oh gosh, he made me a, a freaking mess. We gonna figure this out though. I don't even know how he began to do this, really. There we go. Okay. He left me my shed. We're gonna, you guys can see that. He left me my shed. We're going to attempt to get another catfish with that. We are gonna put it right back on the hook. Hook a little bit deeper than I normally would. We're going to leave that top hook, and hook dry. We're going to check our other baits. That rod is bowed over. And, uh, well, it wasn't bowed over when we left. We got an inch of snow coming. We got 30 to 40 miles an hour wind gusts. We're on a hell of a crappie lake. We got about six foot of water in this creek that I'm in right now, or this river. And uh, we're still going to get it done. We're going to go to the state park on the lake tomorrow. See if we can't figure out something down there. We either will or we won't. But I got faith we will. Now that other rod, I'm just going to go ahead and do myself a favor, it's bowed over. I want to know, did something take my bait? So, we're going to reel it in. Oh, there's that rattle. Oh, we caught a tree limb down there. Okay. There we go, we got it back. Oh, uh, you guys can't see nothing that I got going on. It's hard to do this by yourself after dark. We're gonna rehook that head. That was a gut pocket. That ain't never gonna get taken down like that. We need to hook it through there, something like that. Okay. 
we'll recheck our bait on all of our rods just because we're already down here. Probably the last time I'm coming down here for the night. But these rod holders, I'm telling you, these rods ain't going nowhere. We have a very little bit of rain coming in tonight. And so, uh, yeah, I'm not too worried about my rods going anywhere with these uh, rod holders. But I built and we still have bait on this one. That is a gut section. We're out there and we're fishing. But yeah, we're going to hit that state park. This lake, uh, I just talked to a guy that's been fishing down here for the past week. And uh, he's telling me that the pound, pound and a half crappie are fired up. Purple and red colors. I don't have purple and red jigs, but uh, I've got jigs and they'll, they'll bite any color they can see. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, you guys guess right now in the comments whether we have a catfish or not. Because, uh... See that? That's a second one on this trip. Oh, we got two catfish on. That's perfect. We're gonna start out with this small rod. That's why I like my own rod holders, guys. Oh yeah. Hey, that's a good way to start out the morning right there. I'll tell you what. That other line slacked up. Oh yeah. So what do we got here? We got a little channel cat. We can get him around that rock. We got that on braided line. Okay. Like I said, one of our lines is slacked up. Afraid that was gonna happen. <gasps> this one swam us into a tree. I'm trying to think of how I can get him out of there. I can let him swim off with some line. Ah, yep. <gasps> nope, that ain't gonna do it. work himself free we ain't got time it's freezing cold out here i ain't got my warm clothes on for the day yet so yeah there's always that he'll eventually pull himself out of there hopefully let's check this one out i'm curious as to why this one didn't get bit Now, it's hard for me to gain confidence in shit like this. When I casted these rods out overnight, and I got two catfish on. This has got the same bait those rods had on them. Piece of shad. Only difference is, is this freaking rattle and this peg flip. That's the only difference. Yeah, so, hard to gain confidence in something like that when you can leave it out for well, 12 hours and come back and not have nothing. Because I could have very well came back and had uh, three catfish, you know. This ain't a very big river. But, uh... Runs into a big lake. I guess we're going to go check out the dam here in a little bit, you guys. We'll take you guys along with us for that. I'm going to try and get this other catfish unsnagged off. Show you what he looks like if I get, get him out. Uh, anyway, I'll 
show you what this catfish looks like. Come on, buddy. Look what that circle hook did. Same thing as any other hook, wherever it wanted to hook him at. Right in the bottom of the mouth. It's funny how that works. Anyway, pretty old channel rat. Fat dude, he ain't been hungry down there. Yeah, look at them eyes. Look at them eyes. Tell me you don't like that fish. Look at that eye. Yep. All right. I guess we're gonna give that one some time to work himself free before we break the line and leave him with the hook in his face. Cause I, I don't want to do that, but I darn sure will. Obviously I'm not gonna leave the rod there. And, but yeah, that's uh, the third fish from this spot. Nothing's touched. Uh, this rig right here, that, nothing's touched it. I've changed its locations. Same with these other two rods. I changed their locations. Nothing. Well, I guess he's staying down there. Yep, he gone. We ain't getting him back. All right, guys, I'll take you guys on a tour of our cabin, tell you where we're at and a little bit about what we're doing. I've been talking to people. They've been catching pound and pound and a half crappie. That's not what I'm here for, but I do want to catch some of those. Here for catfish and skipjack. This is the only river system that I know that there are, there are forums on them in Oklahoma. They're just they're kind of a big deal, and especially at this dam. And I want some. Ah, my freaking gloves ain't working right. My fingers ain't working right in these gloves, I should say. The gloves are doing exactly what they're supposed to do. My hands are absolutely not freezing right now. I just can't make them work. That'll do it. Okay, we got our rods back. You guys check out these rod holders. Look at that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I got them all stacked up there. Okay, we'll go back up this hill. No. All these uh the two catfish we caught they were in a boat. So, well, we hooked three. All three catfish we hooked were in a sub 30 degree weather. That's the river. That's the only reason it ain't frozen. It's got a, a little bit of current. If we drop below 20, it'll freeze up. Okay. We'll put those poles there. Whoops. That'll be all right. Here's the cabin trailer slash thingamajigger. Uh, you can see the river down there. And down there. That just so happens we got cattail things or some shit right in front of the cabin. Which is fine, I don't mind walking 25 yards one way or the other. But anyway, I'm gonna get some breakfast. We're gonna go find another spot to go to.
Okay, guys. <clears throat> well, you guys can see me over here. Kind of getting spoiled. So what the wife got me with is what we're wearing out to the uh, go fishing in today. Some uh, redhead silent stalker coverall thermalite bone dry. They are $180, but if you go to Bass Pro Shop and you watch to keep clearances, check the clearances, you probably get it cheaper. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think this is the first pair of coveralls I ever had that wasn't made for uh, working in. That's probably made for hunting. They had stuff in fishing out for a comparable price, but this said bone dry. And uh, I like camo, and I just wanted to. Uh, it says bone dry, I mean, so that make, makes it for fishing to me. And I wanted something with a hat. The ones in the fishing aisles was like a waiter style, but they weren't waiters. You still had to wear your own boots, bibs. Yeah, I didn't want that. I want my arms. I want. I don't want to have to wear a jacket too. I don't want to have to wear freaking nineteen different things. I mean, that sucker's got some warm lining. Feels like we ain't gonna be out there suffering no more on the freaking boat. Zip, zips all the way up. Yeah, yeah, this is where it's at. All right, guys, Chad head going out. Let's see if we can get on out there a little ways. We got snow coming down. I'm talking to my camera. Let's see. Okay. Okay. We're going to set that in this chair. We're going to reel in the slack. We're going to pull this over this way so it can't slip nowhere. We got it just like that. Just now hit the bottom. We're casting about 35, 40 foot of water. Oh, if we can get that weight to stick. I don't know, we might need more weight. Pretty windy out there. All right, that ought to do it. Now, on this rod, we've got a crappie head on a big nocturnal nasty hook a nocturnal nation we're gonna put a uh, six ounce bank sinker on there and, uh, we're gonna send it out too i can get over this chair without tripping Then we are gonna step inside. We got a window right there so I can watch my catfish rods. We got doors all around this uh, dock. I wanna try and get this one out there a ways. The current, or the, uh, yeah, there's a main, the channel's right out there. You can see the, right around that dock right there, you can see that island between there and there is the main river channel. Right here is a hole off the main river channel. All right, we're out there quite a ways. Now it's windier than all get out out here, but we're gonna try and make it work. Okay. I mean, that should tell you how deep it is out there. I casted that other rod a long ways out there. And it looks like it's going straight off this dock. It's not, though. I mean, it's out there a ways. I ain't good at angles and math and stuff, but I can assure you it's out there. Okay. I don't know. Big blue cats probably like the winter. I mean, we're fishing a windblown bank. Uh, we got relatively small baits on and we're going to give it a try. We're going to step inside of here. 
Well, guys, let's get our uh, early morning catfish. Let's get that sucker off of those rocks over there. I can feel it. He's on them rocks over there. Oh, 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 come around them rocks, huh? He'll get around there. We'll get him around them rocks. There we go. We got him over the top of them. Come on, now. See if we can. I don't know if we can get him to swim around them rocks like a dog or not. We gonna try. Good. There he is. They ain't got a lot of fight in them in the. Uh, this creek's not deep. It's, <clears throat> it's maybe five foot deep in some spots. And, but these catfish, well, <clears throat> well, that ain't very nice. I mean, I wasn't. I got his face covered in mud. Well, I ain't trying to deal with that. We're gonna throw him back in there and reel him back up. We're gonna flip him up on this bank from down, from down there. Yeah, there you go. Wash your face up, buddy. Don't be rolling around in the mud on your way back up here. I'll send your ass back down there again. Reel that sucker all the way down. There we go. You gotta watch out doing that with these uh, rods too. On winter days like this, I had good rods snap on me on a cold day. Not flipping a fish, but This rod ain't a good rod to be flipping fish with anyways. Hey dude, open your mouth. Look at that dude. Yup. Let's get these leeches off this dude and turn him back loose. We'll leave them leeches right here on this bank. I've seen another one right there on his little whisker deal get that sucker off of there looks like you got a little bugger on your fingers after you rip them leeches off of there you got another one right here bud you thought you were going to the grease it turns out you were getting caught by the fish doctor we're gonna pick your face off there you go, got that nasty leech off of you, bud. You got any more? No? All right, dude. Well, we thank you. Yeah, he missed the uh, rock cliff. I don't know. Let's see what we got going on here. I might go grab a crappie rod and we might go uh, cast it into some of these uh, other things that it's got going on here. I guess yeah, there's no bait on this one, so it got hit at some point last night. <clears throat> of course, my reel froze up. Or hell, we might have had a cat. Well, something more than likely picked our baits off because uh, the rod was still casted in the same spot. <coughs> so it's probably a small catfish. This is feeling pretty baitless too. Yeah, still got one bait on there. 
I ran this uh, search rig or high low rig or actually they're both low low rigs because they're both on a Carolina rig double hook rig whatever you want to call it I ran uh, all these other rods had gut pockets on there and all the gut pockets are gone well one fish one gut pocket gone and then I had a gut pocket on here and a headpiece on the top hook and the or headpiece on the bottom hook whichever way it was I still had the freaking headpiece and all the gut pockets were gone so uh, maybe they have a preference <clears throat> if any of you guys want me to build these and you live in the United States I could build you these rod holders maybe paint them or galvanize them or maybe even out of stainless steel but these ain't your regular cheap Walmart rod holders you send me the dimensions to make your fishing rod fit inside of there and I'll build you a fishing rod holder that ain't gonna go nowhere I can build this handle as long as you need it here in Oklahoma a foot is about all you need some places they have sand or softer soil you might need a foot and a half or two foot you know you tell me from your experience but you need more than a six inches Walmart for us to sell you at least that's what she said and they stack up pretty nice too you just stack them up and grab them up head on up the hill let's go to the lake guys feels cold in the morning all right guys we got one i'm pretty excited if you guys can't tell feels pretty good <laughs> yeah it's like 20 degrees out here too look at that rod bend again you guys know me that's on that meat hunter <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that blue cat. Woo! Ah, uh, yeah. That's what you get when you sit and wait, boys. Ah, that's a beautiful sight right there. Let's get him up in here. My fish scales are probably dead, so I don't even know if I'm going to weigh that one for you guys. Uh, this is what I've been waiting for. I've been telling you guys in all my videos how messed up this year has been for catfishing. It's because it hadn't got cold and stayed cold. These fish will be a lot more predictable. Bait's been everywhere. And uh, we had a long, long... Oh yeah, I just had another bite on this white rod over here. We'll go ahead and let him get it, take it down, you know. Uh... So we're having some uh, pretty decent action. I just had a big bite on my meat hunter on a whole crappie head. I mean, a pretty good sized bait, especially relative for winter time. And uh, then I just had a bite on this white rod right now while I was catching this fish. And, uh, but anyway, they're gonna be a lot more predictable now. If you find them, you found them. Uh, anyway, here we go. Pretty good sized blue cat. I'll try to throw him on a scale for you guys. Oh, 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 be easy now. You're gonna hurt yourself now. Alright. Well, I don't see no scales. Anyway, you just take my word for it. He's about uh, seven or eight pounds. How about that? Get a release on her. I don't want to get my hands too wet. And there she goes. Oh, let's see what we got here for me. I'm just going to put a piece of uh, the shad on here. I'm just going to cut the tail off. I could probably leave it on there, but I'm not going to. We got that on a Carolina rig. we catch any uh, smaller ones you guys know the deal they're going home to the grease <clears throat> I 
I know they say that frozen bait doesn't work that good, but hell, when it's 20 degrees outside, all your bait becomes frozen bait, so you fish with what you got. Just like that. Let's get her out there and do it again.